Right, so at some point in everyone's lives, you've actually been looking for a job or you're at least planning on it, I hope. Otherwise, we're all screwed. Uh, so what you start with doing is you make your perfect CV and you do that for hours and then you go online. You start to uh, upload it and you realize, well, this was for nothing. <laughs> You have to start filling out forms on specific websites to um, to start applying for um, for the actual jobs, and you rinse and repeat. You do it over and over and over again, and hope that the uh, employers will actually catch onto your CV. And all of this is just mind numbing. There's a reason why people say that looking for a job is a full time job. And when you're finished, it's the employee employer's turn. And what they basically do is, since they get hundreds of applications, they sit there, look at your CV, and swipe right and left, mostly just depending on uh, your name or a picture of you. And that's it. And all of this, according to us, creates a pit of discrimination. And we realized this when Futurin said, don't waste the talent. So we asked ourselves, where is all of the hidden experts? And our answer is, they're all in the pit, basically. So we are Pakit, and our solution to this is Tagga Job. With our application, you won't have to find the job the job will actually find you. Simple, right? And we will provide complete anonymity up until the interview stage, just to remove the discrimination. And what we provide employers is an easy way to find interesting people, not based on their specialized CVs or pictures or names, but based on their competences. And they'll even get people who've never worked in their specific area before. And at the later stage, you won't be able to provide a quick and easy way to get a baseline of the competence of the job seeker via a uh, small quiz, in-house quiz. Now, everybody's still asking themselves, how does all of this work? What is our idea? Right, so we're just going to go straight to a demo. And this is going to be really interesting to do with one hand because I'm using the mic with my other and I'm going to write stuff, but we'll see how that goes. So this is just pretty much basically the first page. Um, right now, everybody can look for a job and everyone can just look through the database. And we're going to start by looking for a job. So just click here and we come to a really simple uh, login. Just Google off. Uh, we have used all of this to Firebase. It's really easy. And then we just add, what are your skills? And let's say I am a JavaScript developer, which happens to be true. And then I add the tag. And then I, I, I make a mean plate of nachos. So let's add that too. Uh, these tags are just basically just strings, right? So you, you can input anything you want. And then that just gets pushed to the database. And then we can search, like, I want to go into, and I want to hire an employee, and damn it, I need someone to make good nachos. So if I input here, and then the only thing that the employers will see, this is not going to work now. All right, then I'll have to describe it. It's just going to show you the number of people which this applies to, which in this case is going to be one. So the employers doesn't get any name, any numbers, no nothing. No. All right, let's try JavaScript. And the point is, for some reason, this isn't working. Uh, that's embarrassing. Oh, well, uh, let's just describe it. So the point is that th I, c I choose every attribute, every talent I want my uh, employee to have. And then I get a list saying we have 150 people who match uh, that description. And then you can choose. And then you choose, like, all right, I have 150 people. That's satisfied. Then I just click a button that says send mail. And then everybody gets an, an, an email saying, hey, we have an employer that's, that you're interested in. That's, uh, an employer that's interested in you. And uh, the point of this is the fact that there is 
we wanted to get the communication as fast as possible between the employee and the employer, but while also maintaining the, the um, anonymity as far as possible. Nobody, you don't know the gender, you don't know the name, you don't know anything about the person, you don't know if he's an, she's an, he or she is an immigrant or not, or anything. Uh, and this is as far as we got. This is working. I'm meh. But we also, <laughs> the future plans are for the fact that this could be a tad difficult for some people, like an employer for search for very specific skills or very advanced skill sets. So we want to add a quiz, for example. We have not done that now, but we, uh, let's see, all right, Oops, thank you. So we want to add a quiz where a very basic quiz, four or five questions or something, where you can vet out people based on their answers. And this, this means also that the sort of softer skills, like pedagogical skills of teachers, can also be a s sort of have a, a small filter. Uh, we also have a related tags that isn't working right now. But when we, like, if I search for JavaScript, I also get front-end developer, or I get Java, or you know, people who have used this tag also gets use, use these tags. And maybe statistics, but that's like really far off. All right. I think that's our application. Yeah. Thank you. Questions? Hey, you can do it. Well done. Thank you very much. Uh, questions? Oh, there's a lot of questions. <laughs> we start have. here. Yeah, you must have it some earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what if uh, the employer get a match mm -hmm. and uh, the match is anonym? What is the next step then? Uh, the step would be like the get, get a match and then you send an email. And then everybody who has had in input those tags gets the email from the employer. And then in that email, the you can uh, usually a link to the web page or, or maybe an application, something uh, from the company. And then that employee uh, will decide if he she wants to answer uh, depending on certain factors, if they're interested in the job that they're uh, advertising. Or answer the quiz. Uh, or else, or answer the quiz. Yeah, it depends on what the mail sends out. Okay. You go on. There you go. Uh, hi, my name is Carmen. Thank you for your presentation and for your proactivity. But I was wondering, have you considered the legal aspects of using such a platform? Uh, because when you apply for a job online, and I can say that I have a lot of experience in this, <laughs> Uh, you need to accept term and conditions, which is the box that you fit, and you cannot uh, send your application without this. And uh, from what I have seen, all companies do have this, is accepting their terms and conditions, and they need to know your name. As well as uh, when you apply for a job, you send your CV, your CV, it is considered to be like a legal document. That's why you do not need to lie or you do not need to put information that are not real. Um, you need to put your, your name, your address, everything, because the uh, company that receives these documents, they register into their system and they keep it there. And as well, uh, the company um, has uh, there's also, um, how to say that, it is uh, obligated to protect your data uh, due to confidentiality. So there are quite a lot of legal aspects in this. And I think that if you want to implement it further, I would recommend you to do some search about it and uh, maybe talk to some uh, human resources people that uh, are in recruiting and find out if uh, such a platform could be possible? Well, our answer is that we actually not, we're not leaving this to the company. Of course, when the um, email is sent, afterwards, you're no longer, like if you filled in the quiz and you've been given the possibility to present yourself to the company, you haven't been like cut out on the first time because of your name, of your picture, or because you're like, not able to speak Swedish, for example, then you're given a chance to present yourself uh, first, and it's up to the company later. The company, of course, they get your information after you've been uh, gev given a chance to uh, present yourself, tell something about yourself. It's we are not about like being anonymous all the way. Uh, of course, the company can send this kind of 
like agreement, like do you agree on this, on this, on this, or send us your portfolio or send us your CV. In addition, it's not up to our application to solve that. It's about giving opportunity to someone to present to some, uh, themselves to the public. Does that answer your question? Yes, uh, thank you for your answer. I get the point, and I can understand the why you have developed this, because, well, the probably you have the idea that there's a lot of discrimination, but I'm talking about uh, sending information online, you know, like you send something, and, uh, and I think that this is something that the companies will not be attracted to, because as I've said, it is about you are applying as a person that has no name, and there are kind of legal aspects behind it, so, yeah. Uh, and also, I don't think that we can solve a problem by hiding. If there is discrimination, it will go all the way, because if a person goes to the interview, they st will still get discriminated. So what we need to do is every single day, uh, let's say, fight or find other solutions. I think that this would be a better way. Thank you. Uh, anyone else? Yes, uh, Microsoft. Yes, hello, uh, Matilda here again. Um, I'm not sure how to phrase this, but uh, what if I have a skill that a company is looking for, but I know don't know what to call it, which I can imagine being a problem if you come from different countries, for example, or different cultures, uh, then I would still end up in this uh, pit, as you call it. Uh, we thought a lot about. I'd like. I think that's in the same vein uh, as in the having the related skills. Like, what's the difference between a developer and a programmer? Uh, so, if you like the, we talked a lot about obviously merging, and they've solved this problem, and they're going to open source it in the spring. And the thing is, like, if you have just some way to describe your uh, proficiency, then they have an, uh, a machine learning way of, tr of finding the correct tag, so employers will also be able to find them. So. I think that's I, I think that could be solved. We haven't solved it yet, but I was mainly going to have, and it's going to be open sourced in the spring. Okay, thank you. Okay, anyone else? Yes, there's a question back there. Two question. Yes, the the <laughs> last question. Who will have it? Yeah, oh yeah, oh, it's you. Yeah, hello, Jonathan here. Uh, I'm just wondering. Um, it's kind of easy to say you have a skill or skill set, but how do you filter out how how good you are at that skill? Uh, well, first of all, you can also lie on a CV, right? I can I can send my CV in to, be to anywhere in, in the current system. And the second of all, we have the quiz to, to have just establish a baseline. Uh, our vision of this quiz was not to vet out how skilled I am as a developer, just that maybe I know something. And then the other vetting will be handled by the company either via interviews or uh, work work tests or whatever. But we, we, we have no way of actually gauging someone's skill. Okay. Was that a answer that you're happy with? Good. Okay. So thank you very much. Well done. Hack Street Boys. Okay. The next is Hack Street Boys. Where are you? There you are. You're looking fine. Yes. Okay. Victor Helper. Oh, scream as well. Oh. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Get it out there. Okay, so we have um, we have about an hour. Okay, we're supposed to be finished in five minutes. <laughs> we're not. Okay. Does it work? Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. So when I when we started on Friday, I said there will be uh, companies here listening, maybe hiring. Uh, I have my friend out there. His name is Frosty. He's from Iceland. He's hiring a lot of uh, competent people, competent uh, people and programmers uh, for his company. He's working in the uh, airport business, right? Yeah. So two words from you. Two words. Kind of hard. Hi and. Uh, Talitus told me that you would be here. 
a lot of skilled people. I just wanted to point it out and actually saw that part partial solution there. Uh, I need a certain skill set. Looking for uh, programmers, Android mostly, even web designers uh, or, or web programmers more, more like. Uh, and we're in the airport industry, so basically everything that has to do with airports, but our main software is, is to uh, maintain uh, or, or surveil for ground traffic, um, air airplanes and, and cars and stuff like that. Really a uh, new spectrum and, and uh, an interesting uh, market. And a, a yeah, and, and a lot of travel, <laughs> uh, traveling for the, <laughs> we have programmers down in Cuba and uh, Indonesia, and so it might be very, uh, exotic, but thanks for letting me uh, uh, have those two words, yep, okay. and uh, I have my business cards here. If 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 anyone is interested in knowing more, it doesn't hurt. Thank you very very much, and and uh, have a nice next hour or so. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Frosty. Yeah, with his company, you actually get paid. That's good. Are you ready? Does it work? Okay, go for it. Can I have the mic? Yes, of course. Thank you. Uh, greetings. Uh, we are the Hack Street Boys. We are me, Gabriel, Emil, Adam, Pontus, and Katja. Uh, we have taken the Futurian challenge uh, about matching talents and employers' needs. I think there are several groups which have done this uh, among the ones who just told us about their solution. And we have chosen to call one the Large Competence Collider. Uh, our very basic concept in this is we have an applicant who registers for our service uh, with their competencies and a personality test. They, these two uh, are then used to match with ads provided by employers. Uh, these, uh, the ads are then presented to the applicant who can then choose to apply, is then put through two quizzes. First one, multi-choice, multi-choice quiz. Uh, which are used to filter out applicants. Uh, and then there's a mangle quiz with deeper questions to try to gauge uh, skills and for you to be able to show your talents. Both of these are created by the employer. And now to go to our, we created a mock-up. Uh, new office presentation tools are confusing. Okay, here's our mock-up. Uh, we flip LinkedIn on its head. LinkedIn on its head. Uh, you all know LinkedIn. Uh, it's hard to do something like this without comparing yourselves to LinkedIn. Uh, LinkedIn, if you look at your profile, you always have at the top. You have your profile picture, your name, your age, your shoe size, who you know, uh, and further down, 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 you start to see what competences these people actually have. Our plan is to put this top part in the trash. So we put the page down in the trash. And what are we left with at the top? The competencies, which are what we are actually interested in. Uh, so if we try to register uh, as a user, as an applicant, we provide some form of personal information for the site to know who we are. This information will never be shown to the employer during the process of our page. Afterwards, when you uh, apply for the actual job, you, of course, have to show your information. But y this process is anonymous. Uh, below this, you, have can, you can add competencies uh, of different kinds and, for example, strengthen them with portfolios of some kind. If you're a photographer, you can add your portfolio. If you're a programmer, you can add your GitHub or any other way of strengthening uh, competencies that you add. Then you can tell what kind of regions you are interested in working in and maybe what kind of industries you're not interested in whatsoever. Uh, then we're engineers, we're not personality experts. So uh, the idea is to have some form of personality uh, test for to also use when the employers seek people to be able to filter and match ads with certain people and their uh, social skills. And this then is the actual user's feed. Uh, this person has 23 matches of different sorts uh, from different companies. There are no uh, job descriptions uh, or job titles. There is a short description, but there is no title. We don't want to use the titles. We want to use the skills, the 
competencies you actually have. This one has, he maybe he doesn't know Firebase, but he knows most of the things that Microsoft are interested in. Uh, and here we get a short description of uh, what it is they seek, where they seek, when they seek, and you can choose to try and apply. Uh, not apply, or we'll show you. Uh, we start with a multi-choice quiz uh, with basic factual questions to kind of weed out applicants as they go. Following this, there's the problem-solving quiz with uh, deeper questions, with more problem-solving questions to for you to show if you have previous experience, to show that you're experienced in this kind of work, you you know what you want, wh who, how you would want to solve this deeper problem. Uh, and of course, there is the employer's part of this as well. Uh, if you're an employer, we can log in as an employer, uh, you have the different uh, kind of roles you're searching. Uh, these can have titles. These titles will never be shown to the user searching. Uh, these are just so the employer can have some kind of structure in what they're looking at. Here they can see uh, notified people. How many people have this ad matched with? Uh, how many people have been noticed that this is an actual uh, job opportunity? And the second is how many people have actually made their way all through the application process and are able for you to press show uh, applicants and actually look at their answers. Okay, so this is where our uh, mock-up ends. But basically what would happen when you press uh, show uh, applications, you would not, not see any names. We want to focus on anonymity, uh, but we want to bring forth talent. So what the employer would do is uh, get uh, an unbiased objective analysis of what the answers were to the more uh, problem-solving quiz. Uh, so this brings forth the talent and that's what we want to focus on, uh, also having the anonymity. Uh, and also if you can't uh, actually back up any of your competencies, uh, you probably wouldn't have passed the, uh, the two first quizzes, but if you did, the employer could also uh, assess the, uh, the answers of the um, problem-solving quiz. Um, a nice uh, side effect that we were notified about uh, is that if you uh, uh, add a lot of competencies, you might get um, shown a new career opportunities. Uh, if I'm an engineer and I add photography and I link my portfolio, I might get an ad of uh, something in the uh, photography industry, so I actu actually might give me a new career path, uh, which actually leads to uh, more jobs in the job market or uh, filling out more jobs. And uh, I think that's about it. Yeah, with that, we would yeah, like to thank you for listening. Great, well done. Any questions? There's a question. We have, we have time for two questions, so this is one of them. Hi, uh, my name is Adham, and I have just one, one small question. How do you ensure that the quizzes that you are putting, they won't be leaked in the internet and may be solved? Uh, is, it that, is this question will be changed dynamically? And how often, though? Uh, <coughs> That's a very good question. We, 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 we looked at, for example, the initial quiz, which is multi-question. That is very, very factual quiz, a uh, very factual quiz. And factual quizzes have the downside of being very easy to Google. Uh, like, what is a VPN? Well, it's not a way to feed your dog. It's something else. You can, and you can press that, that in. Uh, the, then there's the second part, we, which we try to make harder with more, not like what is, but how would you? And how would you is much harder to, which sure, you could outsource that too to make uh, to ma have someone else solve that question for you. But then if the company actually interviews you and asks another question, it will be hopefully a wasted opportunity because they will notice that, well, this isn't the person who filled it, this in. So that's, that's our ideology, I think. Uh, I had a question about how about like works that are very hard to define, like someone that works on kindergarten would like to work on kindergarten, how would you s write a quiz for that? Okay, uh, okay so the, the, the quizzes are actually not uh, generated by us. 
it's the employer that when they create the uh, the ad, they actually get to create the first quiz and the second quiz. So depending on the level of the talent that they're seeking, they can actually make the uh, the problem solving quiz harder or easier. Or if you're uh, looking for someone uh, uh, in the for kindergarten, you can actually uh, the employer can post the questions they want answered uh, for this uh, um, uh, applicant. Um, I would like to say that it's like an automated pre-interview. It helps the employer to to um, filter out applicants instead of getting loads of applicants to to choose for an interview. Is that like an answer? Okay, great. Well done. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. So next up is MSCIS. I don't know if that's a, uh, well, there he is. He knows what it is. Come on up. Where's Victor? There he is. Hi, uh, my name is Adham, and as you can see, our team is called MSCIS, which stands for Masters in Information Systems, since we are classmates and we are coming from the same program. And today, uh, we have decided to choose a Futurian Challenge. Actually, we didn't choose it. They chose us. And um, the problem we are solving is not a problem that came up today. It's a problem that has been there for a while. And we have been thinking about it since a long time ago. Um, the hiring process nowadays is really hard. And it takes a long time. And it's also boring. Why? There's a lot of demands. Uh, usually, enterprises, they seek for CVs. They seek uh, for a lot of information that could be redu redundant. But now, our solution, we will show you how we, we solve this. As you can see, but first of all, we welcome you to GeekSeek. Say a guaranteed job with no CV. Um, here we are trying to match job seekers with companies, depending on skills and all the skills. One of the main troubles in the Arabic, uh, in the working field, Arabic Maghreb, nowadays is discrimination. There is discrimination be be because of gender, uh, sexual orientation, religion, skin color, and many more. And nationality. Thank you. Um, so the, job, uh, the, the, uh, the work seekers will be able to register, and their photos and their name will be blurred. Then they will uh, go to, uh, do a to, for example, let's say I register as a Java developer. I will have to, uh, to make a test. We don't put the test ourselves, but we give it to a third party to do it, to certify the skills. Do I really have it? Yes, we will add, to that. We will add it to the, to the file. And uh, do you want to go down, please? So here you will register your name, your show name, your email. That's all. No CVs at all. You upload your image, your image will be hidden and blurred. Go down, please. And the name. Of course. Or the name as well. And then you add your professional skills. For example, I'm a Java developer, I am Python developer, or even I'm, I like cooking. Then. Uh, there are two types of CVs, the one for skills and the other one also for personality. Are you a team player or not? Do you like to working alone or not? These all are important. Down, please. Then you choose your place, the place where you'd like to work. And now you'll be given to the jobs that matches you. For example, we see access here that have, have some kind of job. Do I like it or not? I like it. My profile will be sent to the company. They will see my skills. They will see what I can. They will see how much I saw, uh, uh, how much I got in the test, how many points. Yes. Then they go maybe for the next step. The next step, 
uh, will be go to a physical interview, a small interview, and after that, there is also a, a, a system for a feedback. The job seeker will be able to give the company plus point or even minus. But if they give them minus, the moderator of the website have to say why, and should be a reasonable re reason. And if it's alike, the company will get a point, and vice versa. Now, what do we guarantee? We guarantee we are trying to build a trust, a trust between job seekers and companies. Companies will have a skilled employers, S employers that have t done tests and they have already passed it, and job seeker will get jobs depending only on their skills. So we will also avoid discrimination. Anything more to add? Yeah, that's it. And you, you can see as well, we didn't do any PowerPoint uh, because we do it every day in our school and they are really boring, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs>